Phil is one of many cities across the country now contending with the idea of defunding local law enforcement. There are multiple ways to understand the word defund. Some have said they want to cut back on police spending. Others want all funding used elsewhere. Now, the Nashville People's Budget Coalition is one group helping others understand just how much is at stake. Mayor Cooper's latest budget has roughly $362 million allocated between police and the courts. And as the coalition explains, that's just set shy of $70 million more than health care, social services, affordable housing, transit, infrastructure, and parks combined. State Senator Brenda Gilmore says she believes the department should still exist, but wants the city to take a closer look at how police are spending this money. I think that the police department's budget has been growing and is a bulging um, budget, a huge part of our community. And some of those funds could be transferred, I think, to um, a more appropriate department that would use them um, in a more meaningful way than just to further um, militarize our department. We also talk with local officers who say defunding will only make it more difficult for them to protect communities. You can see that on newschannel5.com.